Hello, good people of Trigonometry. This is Manny talking about chapter 1.3. This will probably be done in about six or seven videos. So here's the first one. I'll call that video A. Uh, this one is just to remind you about the Pythagorean theorem and how it connects to the distance formula. Yeah. There we go. Let me draw a triangle with three colors here. We'll make the hypotenuse red. One side is, okay, you can hardly tell the difference on that one. That's orange. And we'll make the bottom blue. There we go. And we'll call that B, C, and A. Okay. And of course, the Pythagorean theorem tells us that when this triangle is a right triangle, the length of A squared plus the length of B squared equals C squared. That is it. Hopefully that is old news to you. Okay. I'm going to use this formula now to find the distance between points that are on the Cartesian plane. Okay. So now, instead of just a triangle in the middle of space, I'm going to put out two points in the middle of space. Here's a point, and there's a point. And let's say I want to find out the distance between the two. And in this case, that's our C, right? And we're just going to use the Pythagorean theorem. Um, I need to create this point here, which currently doesn't exist. You get it by going straight down from the point on the right and making a horizontal line from the point on the left and a right angle like that. All that is noteworthy is, oh, I guess I should put some labels on these points. Um, that's x1, y1, x2, y2. All right, for the points there. And this distance right here, which earlier we called b, B is equal to x2 minus x1. Now, it doesn't really matter um, which way I subtract because I'm only going to take the positive answer of this, okay? Um, to do that mathematically correctly, I'm going to put absolute value bars right there, okay? And that just means keep the positive answer. And then for this length over here, which earlier we called A, A is equal to, again, I'll do these uh, absolute value bars, Y2 minus Y1, okay? And so our modified Pythagorean theorem is going to be C equals the square root of uh, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And you'll notice I use parentheses here instead of the absolute value bars. I can go either way. Um, the square will actually take care of the positivity of that value. Okay, so we're going to use this a few times in the next examples.